Congratulations! You will meet the Grandmaster in five seconds. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. You are now meeting the Grandmaster. It's Deadpool. So let's talk Deadpool. Now, we've talked Deadpool in the past. A lot in the past. And um, especially with the anticipation of the film dropping July 20, what, 6? July 26th. I'll be seeing it on the 25th. Uh, possibly again on the 26th. It just depends. Um, but Deadpool is something that is the most anticipated film. I think there was a poll taken. It's the most anticipated film of the year. Um, it is Marvel Studios' only film of the year. Um, and it is supposed to be a pivotal film in the Marvel Studios timeline. We have gotten our first trailer, so we already knew some of the things that happened in that trailer. We were we were privy to before the trailer dropped just from leaks and rumors. We knew that it was going to involve the TVA. We knew that it was at one point thought it was going to involve the Danger Room and some other stuff and maybe even Mojo. But that all got changed. Um, I've even heard, you know, from other scoopers that at one point the script was going to involve nothing but the um uh, the told the whole plot of the film is going to take place around the first X Men film and that timeline and that whole era, uh, but that even got changed. Um, most recently, we read an article from Alex Perez where he was doing a Q and A, and Alex Perez is the scooper insider over at Cosmic Circus, where he was talking about um, how Deadpool is going to. Uh, I don't remember exactly what he said about. Um, um, what he said in that article, I don't remember everything he said, but in the past, Alex has uh, talked about how 838 Universe was going to be involved with this. We even heard, I don't know if you guys remember all of this, but we were supposed to have a fight between the Phoenix and Wanda, uh, Jean Grey's Phoenix and uh, 838's Wanda. Um, there was a whole bunch of different rumors for Deadpool uh, and Wolverine. Um, but most recently... And I've said I, I said this I, I said this when I sat over there. It was the last time I think all three of us were in the studio, and I said, "But what if Deadpool isn't what we all want it to be? What if it isn't this? You know, my Matthew Vaughn, director Matthew Vaughn, came out and said he saw a clip of Deadpool, and he said it is the film that is going to save the MCU." You even hear Wade Wilson in the co in the trailer say he's Marvel Jesus. So we don't know if this film. I've I've said before, even when Matthew Vaughn said that, I said no, Deadpool's not the film that saves the MCU. And the reason I said that is because I said we all know going into Deadpool that we are going to enjoy and have a good time with Deadpool. Temper your expectations. I'll get back to that in just a second. That we're all going to have a good time with Deadpool. So Deadpool is not the film to save the MCU. If you're looking at a film to save the MCU, in my opinion, that's going to be your Captain America 4, which is still under some muddy, murky fucking what the shit water are they doing over there. You've still got Fantastic Four coming out in 2025. To my, in my opinion, I think Mar that's one that Marvel is handling very well. You look at the current marketing for, for uh, F4. I understand that a lot of people don't like the fact that Julia Garner's playing that, but understand if you were not here last week when that rumor dropped that she is not playing the main Silver Surfer in our 616 universe. Marvel also dropped a poster of the Human Torch of uh, 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 Quinn playing the Human Torch as Johnny. And in the background of where the Human Torch was, that is not our 616 universe. We actually got even more details about it, that their universe is going to be a more futurized 60s version, where they are from, the future is the 60s, 60s version of, the, of, of New York, but a, a more futurized version of it. Um, so we, we, you know, we, we've got, we, we learned all those things about Kind of, kind of with the Fantastic Four and things like that, and what was going to be, or what was going to be going on within um, uh, that film. I'll get back to that in just a second. But um, those, those type of films, to, in my opinion, are going to be the films that save the MCU uh, if they, if the, if if they are able to do that um, or put. Let me, let me put it, let me put it this way. I don't want to say save the MCU, but put fans back on a trajectory, a trajectory of trusting the MCU, of of saying, okay. 
take my money, Marvel, or, or whatever. Because it used to be, a, for me, it used to be a thing where I would always say, oh, no, 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 Marvel's about to do it again. Oh, no, 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 Marvel's about to do it again. But now it's like, uh, is Marvel, are they going to do it again? So, you know, you don't really know. So uh, I don't think Deadpool's that film that's going to do that. But. I'm trying to say is we need your help most recently asked Alex Perez. Now, this is this is a few days after Alex just put out that QA where he was saying something completely different about um Deadpool. Now I don't want to sit here and, you know, dog Alex because I think that Alex is a a, a good scooper. We've covered several different things that Alex has put out in the past. Um, but like I always say with all these scoopers, take everything that even they say and things that we repeat echo chamber over here as far as uh, sharing those um, rumors or leaks with you, take it with a massive grain of salt. We don't know that any of things, any of these things are true. A lot of this, a lot of the stuff that these scoopers say is a game of telephone, where you might hear one person say something, and then the next time somebody else says it, different words have been changed. By the time it finally gets out, this person's now this person's been cast as this person. I've heard it from this person who has a reliable source that this person told me. So you don't, you know, we never really know with these scoopers. Now, obviously, Daniel has had some good scoops. My time has had some good scoops. Can we get some toast? Good scoops. Alex, good scoops, but they've also had shit scoops as well. My Time to Shine Hello, if you don't remember, it wasn't just My Time to Shine Hello, it was My Time to Shine Hello, Can We Get Some Toast? A, a lot of them were all collaborating and saying that, hey, the Spider-Man from the, I, I guess the Spectacular Spider-Man, whichever one is voiced by Keaton or whoever, was going to be the one, the Spider-Man that shows up in Invincible in the finale. That didn't fucking happen. That wasn't, that wasn't uh, that Spider-Man in the finale, but they said it was going to be that Spider-Man, not the, not the off-brand Spider-Man that we got from the Invincible comics. It was going to be that specific Spider-Man. So they're not always spot on with things that they say. I don't know where that came from. Um, they also said that Batman was was going to be in the uh, in in um, Invincible, and some people might say, "Oh, oh but Darius, they were right about that." No, 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 they weren't. Uh, that was not Batman. Uh, Kirkman, who who wrote the Invincible comics, came out and said, "No, that wasn't Batman in the in the." Uh, Obviously, they leave it ambiguous to make you think it is Batman, but that's not Batman. So just, you know, a lot of the things that the scoopers say sometimes can be on. Sometimes it cannot be on. But Alex Perez most recently on Twitter was asked or somebody said to him, and I will read it, said, I really hope this is true to where he says, I don't know. I don't know what they were saying, what they hope was true. But he said, I really hope this is true. I miss Nightcrawler. I want Alan back so bad. But if he doesn't return, I hope Cody will cameo. And he was talking about, and the Adam is the Adam is the actor that plays Nightcrawler in the original X Men films. Cody plays him in the reboot that Fox did. Um, uh, Cody will cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine instead. I just need to see one of the Fox Nightcrawlers one more time. To where Alex Perez commented this. Now, before I read what Alex said, mind you, every scooper. Everybody since Deadpool has been announced has been talking about how we are going to see this. And again, take it with, I know this is partly our, our, our fault to our fault as well as fans. And the reason I say it's our fault as fans is because not all of us, not all of us. I know some of you don't pay attention to the leaks and rumors like that. You like to be surprised or you don't believe some of the things that you see. But as someone like me who is in this YouTube game and I, it, I, I, cover a lot of this stuff and we talk about this stuff live i do cling on to some of those things that they say um and when they say things like um you know oh we're supposed to be seeing this x-men you know let me put it this way one of the exact quotes that one of these scoopers used was it's going to be an x-men filled film you guys are going to see so many X-Men in the film. It's going to be this person, that person, this cameo, that cameo. We heard the Fantastic Four, the OG Fox Fantastic Four, was supposed to appear in the film. With That's Jessica Alba's crew. Uh, we heard that Elektra, uh, Jennifer Gardner, is supposed to be reprising her role. I still believe that's happening. Um, 
we've heard so many different things or whatever, whatever, whatever. Cassandra Nova is going to still be the main villain as, as she was supposed to be. Um, 70 or something, 75% of the film is going to take place within the void. Um, those are things that we do know that are actually going to happen. Uh, but there were so many things that were put out about Deadpool that really hyped up Deadpool to be this next No Way Home or to be even better than No Way Home was. And I know some people might even say, well, No Way Home wasn't even that great for me. I personally had a fucking great time in No Way Home, me personally. Um, but Deadpool, we don't know. Again, we have to wait to see. But this is what Alex Perez had to say back to that. He said, yeah, with three dots. So if you're expecting a whole X-Men cast reunion for Deadpool 3, lower your expectations all the way down to avoid disappointment. What was originally established is no longer coming to fruition. There's still cool stuff, but my recommendation is relax by a lot in all caps locks. Based on what I've heard, the story flows better for the overall multiversal saga, leading to Secret Wars, but it's not going to be in-game level cameo bonanza people are expecting this to be. It's more like No Way Home. Now, again, as I just said, I enjoyed No Way Home, so for me, that's not that bad of an idea for me. But again, this is why I said what I said when we last talked about Deadpool, but what if it's not? What if it's not what we're all expecting Deadpool to be? What if Deadpool is not going to be the film that saves? And again, I never thought it was, but just using what Matthew, Matthew Vaughn's quote and what everybody else is jumping on the Deadpool train thinking it's going to do. What if it doesn't save the MCU? What if, what if it doesn't do this? What if it doesn't do that? And now those what ifs are becoming realities. Because I remember when I said that, so many people, there were people in the chat saying, oh, no, don't say that. It's going to be great. I think even Corey even might have said, oh, no, no, I, I have so much faith and hope in Deadpool and I do too I have faith and hope in Deadpool because it's Ryan Reynolds and Ryan Reynolds said he wasn't going to do Deadpool uh, 3 if it wasn't going to be able if he wasn't going to be able to do it the way he did it under Fo under the Fox umbrella and obviously when we watch the first trailer and the, one of the first things you hear come out of Wade Wilson's mouth is pegging might be new for you or might be new for Disney but it's not for me or whatever he said obviously we know that it's going to be in the same vein that you know the other Deadpools were in it's Marvel's first rated R film etc 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 but again there is that but what if it's not what if you leave Deadpool disappointed what if you leave Deadpool and you're like okay this is still not it um again do I think that that is going to happen I don't I still think Deadpool is going to be one of the best films of the year I think it's still going to be one of Marvel's best films and things like that but knowing this now it's kind of like MJ says in the MCU if you expect disappointment you never have to be disappointed and I feel like that's where we currently are with Marvel Studios projects if you just expect disappointment I know that's hard that's hard because some of us might be really, really you know really be still clinging on to that hope of Marvel's coming back that lightning in a bottle we we need Marvel back and I still believe Marvel is going to make their little comeback but if you expect disappointment, you never have to be disappointed. And I think it with every Marvel project until until there has been some type of light shown to us that they're moving down a different path or something, then you have to expect disappointment and you have to expect that Marvel may that may not be what I wanted Deadpool three to be. It may not be what I want, you know, any of the projects moving forward to be. But um, if you expect disappointment again, you don't have to be disappointed. So don't go in. <laughs> like we were all, I, and I, again, I'm guilty. I have been over here hype and I'm still going to hype Deadpool up, but I've been over here hyping Deadpool up saying, oh, we're going to see this. We're going to see that. And I've just been going based off of what we hear in leaks and rumors. And again, I hold so tight to those because most of the time those leaks and rumors um, are spot on. I mean, we were, we read the plot leak for the Marvels. It happened. We read the plot leak for Wakanda forever. It happened. We read the plot leak for Quantumania. It happened, you know, so, um, Sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off. We don't know. Um, but that is the current rumors and situations going on with Deadpool. Uh, lower your expectations and relax by a lot, quoted by uh, Alex Perez over the Cosmic Circus. So don't expect to go in and see the smorgasbord of X-Men in this film. I think we'll still see our Dazzler and Taylor Swift. 
I think I think we'll still see Beast because I think that uh, Monica in some way, shape, or form is going to play a role in a post credit scene or something like that or those X-Men or whatever. Um, just from what we've heard, again, grain of salt, grain of salt. Um, I, you know, there's, there's still major things going to be happening within Deadpool. We'll just have to wait to see what it is. Um, the last thing that we do know is that, um, at CinemaCon on the 11th, so that's not today, that is going to be on Wednesday. I'm sorry, Thursday. On Thursday, the 11th, Deadpool and Wolverine is going to get a sneak peek at CinemaCon. Now, is that going to be, sh- and that's coming via Daniel RPK. Grain of salt. Is that going to be shown to us? I don't know. Uh, is that going, and that's something that he says too, is that going to be in the public, uh, something that the public's going to see? I'm not sure. Not really sure if that's something that we're going to see Um shared with us from CinemaCon. But I do want to show one more thing here before we uh, move on from Deadpool. Um, And that is what Alex said here. Uh, Hold on, hold on. Let me find it. So the runtime for uh, Deadpool is going to be two hours and 10 minutes. That was reported by Can We Get Some Toast. Is that probably a true statement? Yeah, probably. I, You know, stuff like that, I, I don't have a hard time believing. So, yeah, that is probably a true statement that the runtime for the film is going to be two hours and 10 minutes. Um, we know this one, too. You know, this is probably something that is real just because the image did drop of, you know, Deadpool with the katanas, where they went on to say not only does a TVA uh, tailor whip up a new suit for Deadpool, he also gives him with adamantium katanas to level the playing field okay i i do believe that too i believe that that is something that probably is actually true um i mean you see him with the katanas here you see him with the katanas in the uh the other pictures and then this one says new promotion art of deadpool and wolverine also fe- featuring dog dog pool kid pool head pool and baby pool uh now the scoopers can we get some toast now he can we get some toast this is this is again what i mean now he at one point this could have been on the table at another point now it's off the table. Can we get some toast? Was one of those scoopers that reported that Walker uh, Scobell was going to be playing Kidpool in the Deadpool uh, three and Deadpool three. Now three day as of three days ago, can we get some toast? Says Kidpool will not be played by Walker Scobell, and we all thought that that was really real because of his already pre-established relationship with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, they did the Adam Project together, so um, and he already works for Disney and the Percy and Jackson. Uh, series so we all thought that that was kind of you know inevitable that that was real he was going to do that um not happening um hold on i need to find this last thing here okay right here so this is where alex said temper your expectations now just looking at this here This is what a commenter said Uh, this is somebody from reddit who said leak culture has changed so much the past few years. When I first started following this sub a few years ago, I swear whether they were bullshit or not, leaks would be actual information. This person is being considered for a role. This character is is going to appear in this film. Now they post riddles and pictures and they say they have information, but don't share it. Then a few months, then a few months before the project comes out, they say stuff like changed, changed and uh, any actual information they shared might not be true. I assume all leaks are fake, so it doesn't matter much to me. I have no clue what to expect from this film. I'm still shocked slash delighted Cassandra Nova is the main villain. Not only that. I think I mentioned this the last time, too. There are scoopers, like Can We Get Some Toast, that are making people, well, not making people, people are dumb enough to do it, that are paying for scoops. People that are, um, you know, uh, paying to get a scoop first when that same scoop is going to come out later that day. So, but Can We Get Some Toast is one of those one of those scoopers. Somebody went on to say, lower your expectations, said the guy who said this was 838 invading Earth. Again, this you know, Alex did. Alex was one of the ones that said that, you know, oh, no, we're going to see this. This universe is going to be 838 or whatever. It's 838 was going to be involved um, in this universe in some type of way. I think they were going to go to war with them or something like that. I don't remember exactly what the rumor was. It was a while ago. Um, somebody said this dude needs to stop yapping. Honestly, he's clear. Uh, he clearly got. Uh, sources, but ends up looking dumb because he doesn't know when to zip it, leading to this. So it just goes on and on. Um, um, someone said, was the whole X-Men cast reunion expected? 
And then this person said Cyclops, Jean Grey, Storm, Gambit were uh, were scooped by multiple people. Now, this is, again, Cyclops obviously being played by James Marsden. We know that that's happening. I believe that James Marsden is actually going to be in it. James Marsden recently just did an interview where he talked. They talked about Deadpool, but not really. But um, oh God, what did he say? He gave off the impression that he wanted the interviewer to ask him more about Deadpool, like that he was more upset that, damn, why didn't you ask me about? Because he, he seemed like he really wanted to talk about it. So we know James Morrison is going to reprise his role as, as Cyclops. Um, I forget the actress that plays Jean Grey, but she was mentioned to reprise her role as well. Um, Halle Berry posted a picture of her with the short hair, um, which led to everybody thinking, oh, she's, you know, she's filming for Deadpool. She's reprising her role as well. Uh, we've talked many times about how Channing Tatum was supposed to play Gambit in a Fox Gambit a solo film and how he really was ready for that film. He really loves this character. He really wants to play Gambit. So just as a homage to or, or paying, you know, some type, not homage, but giving giving some type of um, uh, closure to Channing Tatum, letting him come back and play Gambit in this film. Uh, Kelsey Grammer as Beast. Um, teenage Negas TJ Negasonic Warhead is supposed to be in it, uh, obviously reprising her role, Colossus, things like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Professor X, Magneto. All scooped by Alex. So, um, and not just all scooped by Alex, others too. My time has talked about it. Can we get some toes? Talked about it. The Geekster talked about it. They've all talked about these things. So, um, but it just, uh, Goes on to say, and this is the last one I'll read. Somebody said, unbelievable. Alex is already backtracking. Like, can we get some toast in my time to shine? Hello. First, they promise way ahead a lot of stuff that were never going to be in the movie. Then when we get close, they start backtracking by saying they changed their minds and last minute the project, their credibility, uh, to project their credibility. Uh, go until the end with your information. Don't backtrack. Uh, face responsibility for what you said. That's the real, that's how the real world works. I think that's taking a little bit too deep because uh, it's just scoops and things like that for a fantasy movie. But at the end of the day, people are upset with the fact that, you know, we're being told one thing in these scoops and then being told another thing, but it then, it then kind of takes your mind back to what James Gunn said uh, about the Ultraman stuff. Why would you want to know what's going to happen in the film anyway? I, again, as a YouTuber and a content creator, some t most of the time, I do want to know some of these things so that we can talk about it. it. It causes discussion for us here. But at the end of the day, as a fan that wants to just sit down and watch the movie without knowing, honestly, when I know stuff about the film, it doesn't ruin it for me anyway. Um, when I watched Black Adam, I knew Superman was going to show up at the end. I actually saw the post credit scene before I sat down in the theater. But my reaction at the theater would have made you think that I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, because it's, it's more real to me when I watch it on the big screen. Yeah, I can read about it. Yeah, I can see it. I said this about Wakanda for Never. Yeah, I saw the post credit scene of Wakanda for Never before I saw that movie. And after seeing that post credit scene, I told, I told you guys, I saw that and I said, I don't have to now see the movie because I know where they're going. I don't need to see this. But when I saw it on screen, opposed to a dark image or, or blurry video on my phone, it made it more real. Uh, so yeah, you know, we'll have to just wait and see exactly what Deadpool is going to be. Um, I still think it's going to be a great film. I'm not sitting here saying that it's going to be a dead, uh, a terrible film at all. That's not what I think. I don't think that I could be wrong. I don't think that though. I'll find out July 5th, but I said all that to say, Temper your expectations going into Deadpool 3. Don't go into Deadpool 3 thinking that it's going to be this X-Men reunion like I thought. You know, I thought we were going to see so many X-Men because that's what we were being told from scoopers and things like that. And that's what the stories that a lot of us were running with as far as content creators go. We were running with those stories, telling those different stories on our platforms and saying, hey, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. Does it make fun conversation? Of course it makes fun conversation. But at the end of the day, temper your expectations. A lot of these things may not happen. A lot of these characters that you want to see may not be in the film. The X-Men and the what, however we want the X-Men to be still may not happen. If you go back to the article that was put out in the Production Weekly magazine a couple last week, the X-Men film has still lined up with what Scoopers have said, too. Again, this is why I say sometimes they're right. Scoopers have been saying that the X-Men film is not going to come after until after Secret Wars. Production Weekly's article kind of confirmed that it's going to come in quarter four, which is still after Secret Wars. So... Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Do you think that uh, 
Do you pay attention to scoops? Let's put it that way. Are you one of those people on Twitter that pays attention to the scoops? Do you do you care for when we give spoilers and scoops and things like that? Are you an into leak culture or not? Do you just think it should all shut up? What do you think about the the scoopers like my time? Can we get some toes? Daniel, Jeff Snyder, all of them, all the ones out there. Um, and then what do you think Deadpool is going to be? I know Raymond has said many times that he doesn't think Deadpool is going to be that great of a film. But is he on to something? Does you, do you think that maybe it's not going to be that great of a film? Or are you like, hey, I'm just ready for Deadpool 3. I'm ready to see what Ryan Reynolds does in the MCU. And I'm ready for the first MCU rated R film. Let me know all your thoughts.